reason. Mm, look at how nice and big it is. That's what she said. <laughs> Hi lovelies, hi Nance babies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome for the first time. My name is Nene Agan, aka Nance Baby, aka Dr. Nene, aka Nance the Babe, and I'm back again with another video. I know it's been a hot minute and I'm sorry honestly because life has just been like a lot, a lot of things have been going on and as some of you know I am a final year medical student so I've been really swamped with stuff but I'm back with a whole roll of content to give you guys back to back okay so I'm gonna put my nails here since I'm the earliest one Nene nah, nah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> what's your name? Jessica. So I met this wonderful group of people through my friend Shona. Shout out to you, Shona. They basically explore Dominica. They go to different places on the island and have fun, basically. And that's what I told myself I was going to do this year. Like I made a conscious decision to enjoy Dominica before leaving the island. Yeah, so I decided to join them on their trip to Soma Garden this time around. And it was really fun as you are about to see in this video. So make sure you keep watching, like, subscribe if you haven't, share, turn on post notifications, tell friends, tell friends, tell friends, to tell a friend. And yeah, enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So as with any road trip, you have to go get snacks first. We already had food from before, so we got this breakfast. We got snacks. And yeah, we went on the trip to Soma Garden. It was really far. The journey was about an hour, maybe more. But it was a nice journey. Hey guys, so basically, I don't know want to buy anything. Like, I don't want to buy anything. I'm just here because when next will I come? Like when next will I come here? What else will I be doing here? I'm done now. I'm gonna go. Bar? Is this a bar? Oh well, we're at the bar. Maybe I should take a shot. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. So after the long journey, we finally got to Soma Garden. We finally got to Paradise. Literally, because as you can see, oh, it's hi. very green. One of my favorite parts of Jamaica is the greenery. It's like it's so green, it's so beautiful. The views are very breathtaking, and I really enjoy seeing this. Welcome to Soma Garden. Um, where you guys are right now is part of Hatton Garden. It's an original estate, which was um, broken up into different portions. And this part where you are right now, we have done in Soma Garden. Soma is a a word with an exotic meaning it means uh, elixir also the elixir of the gods because we have a lot of fruits and they make nice sweet juices so that's how we gave it the name summer so what we're gonna do today we're gonna walk around the farm the farm uh, consists of about 15 acres but where we currently plant we plant around seven acres we've been operational for about 35 years our main crop is pineapple and secondary to that it's avocados after doing my masters not too long ago, I decided to come to Dominica and continue the planting journey where we started planting a variety of exotic fruits, herbs, 
aromatics and edible plants <laughs> yeah so what we're gonna do today we, i'm gonna give you guys an education so we're gonna look at the different types of plants we have this is season one of summer garden so you'll find fruits that are of bearing age you'll find intermediate ones and i'll also show you the little ones that we have planned to go into the soil to increase the diversity of fruits that are, that are easily able to be grown in, in Dominica, in our climate. So, without further ado, we, we're, gonna start, we're gonna start the tour right now. And you're gonna follow me along. I have this because a few lucky people are gonna get to pick some of the fruits that we get to sample I today. I to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we were taken to this place called Mermaid's Pool and apparently it's called Mermaid's Pool because there's a full floor that mermaids live here or used to live here. I don't remember what? exactly what the tour guide said. <laughs> but yeah, we were gonna stay here and swim but we had to be extra so we're like nah. We already had plans to go to the riverside and cook and have a nice time so we decided to just do the tour and it's not a star fruit like the carambola it's a star apple and the reason why they call it star apple is because when the fruit is is is, is done and you cut it open you see a star shape inside it tastes like vanilla flavored jello that's the best i can explain to you <laughs> nice sweet soft and if the riper it gets the softer it gets if it's wow. not so ripe it's more jello-y but when it gets riper, it gets soft and silver like a pudding. Very nice, and Jamaicans love it. That's one of their favorite fruits. So, I, mm -hmm. so what do you have to say I, about I, that? I, can, you, can you comment on that? Terrible. Oh. Yeah, this one was planted by my dad who passed away in, in 2009. Oh, yeah. may you rest in peace. No problem. Yeah, wow. A 12 year old tree. I really like your hair. You go to Jamaica, you go to some other Caribbean Ooh, countries, nice. and that's the same style. But guess what? Okay, so the pump seeder ones are correct. That's the pump seeder. Otherwise known as golden apple in Jamaica. And um, we have two different varieties here on the farm. This bush is called Veven. Everybody know Veven. But did you know that the flowers are edible and they taste like mushrooms? Wow. Yeah, you can actually. Look at the flowering problem. Not all flowers have their tendencies, but some people like the white ones. Only ladies. The white ones. Only ladies. Only ladies. Papa, God, the white ones. dragon fruit the reason why it's expensive is because there's a lot of labor involved first of all you have to provide a structure for it to climb and if you want to have it stay oh. it's gonna have many flowers opening tonight one open last night i missed that one oh. but i'll try to get those later but this one is the <laughs> No, I miss it. I miss it. Oh shit! <laughs> no, but that why he's so act, he's actually nice right. Skin. He's actually right. Oh. They actually call pollinate insects in. When yeah. when people used to do yeah. vanilla before, they say you want sexier vanilla. That's what that is it. That is it. So also that one there was no. What's the name? Nothing. Pollinate. No. No. But that one, that one, I'm going to bring you. That one, that one. Yeah, we have raspberry. Uh, those are little raspberry plants. This little one there is what they call a jaboticaba or Brazilian tree grape. Okay. Um, they are very slow growing, they're related to Waden oh, and yeah. also they're related to the guava family, the myrtle family. And when they make fruits, it's like little, little red grape like fruits all on the stem of the tree. Oh, okay. And in, in South America, they just take it to make a wine, they call it jaboticaba. Wow. Yeah. This is the fruit we go on the farm, ladies and gentlemen, is um, we supply them to local markets. Okay, we've been farming here for 35 years. This is not a new thing to us. We supply pineapples to everywhere. You, everybody there must have eaten our fruit already because if you want to buy a fruit from Richard S. Smart, Asta Fans, you, it, we, it might have been one of our fruits. Ah. You understand? Um, who can tell me what type of fruit that is? From the land. Wow, wow, wow. Very good. You, didn't, you know you know it because, <laughs> because you know these young people don't know that stuff. Yeah. What is they it? forget that. It's called a pom lian or a pom de lian in English. Oh, but it's a, it's a sweet passion fruit. Oh. The skin does get yellow and yellow inside and the seeds are grey and it smells like a perfume. Very perfumey. So, so, there's a ripe pom de lian. Uh, uh, can we? Ladies first. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You see how it is? Ah. That one they don't get big like Bawa. 
Guys, oh, vanilla. so nice. This is all, um, this is the original thing they talk about. It's sex in. It's it's smell it and smell like vanilla. No, no, no. no. So okay, one question. Uh, Why you use the, the coconut? coconut? Coconut because coconut, coconut. coconut. You hold in water. Yeah. I don't see you have your yeah, sprinklers. Sprinkler on. So they hold it, the coconut has holy water. So and as you can see, the vanilla roots will seep into it. that yeah. and it will suck it to so maintain it gets the moisture. Oh. Before oh. the citrus was to plant that way. Yeah, you can uh, plant, you can plant it on like oh, the grapefruit tree yeah, and everything. Yeah. Just on grapefruit, like on anything. It's taking quite a number of time before it starts to bear. Yeah, boy. it takes a few years to, be, uh, to yeah, start boy. to make flowers. It, 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 it. Then you have to set the flowers to make the. Right. 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 Well, it looks like really this is what it looks like. It's like a, it's a black liquid or a wine. And it tastes sweet like a juice. You bought it in the Philippines and it's a Lemon. It's called Pilimbi. 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 They don't just boil it. They boil it with sugar like I'm already prepared for spare. Okay. I can't explain how much I hated living in that shade, you guys. Because this summer is out for my life. Oh. It's out for my life because my make like i was sweating i mean my makeup tried honestly it tried to stay as much as it did but i was struggling like i was sweating it was hot i was irritated but i was happy because i was eating food <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember how many acres the tour guide said at the beginning because I don't but um, <laughs> I was exhausted like I was tired it was hot it was big like, it's really big they have a lot of fruits they have a lot of fruit trees I see we passed the pineapple field very nice place I really wish there was like a field of colorful flowers I'm gonna tell I'm going to DM them on Instagram and tell them we should go to planting crazy flowers Mm, look at how nice and big it is. That's what she said. <laughs> like we have, we have, we have a good amount of African. So pretty. So you pull out a slice. Wow. No, there's a grafted guava. It has plenty of food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd want I'm a lady. I think I'm not my favorite one. I'm not going to do for my rabbit. Look for the the, 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 the bright purple ones. Are the ones that are done. Do you actually mango? It's so juicy. <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna tie everything that's happened together so far so my garden is a garden located in pegua Dominica. they plant fruits they plant vegetables they plant a lot of things and they recently said doing this tour thing where you go you pay a certain amount of money it was 60 ec when we went um, you pay the money, they give you a tour of the garden. While you're on the tour of the garden, you get to pluck fruits from the tree, you get to eat fruits, you get to learn about fruits and learn about plants. And then at the end, in a hot type thing, like the stand that you're seeing here, we get to try different kinds of juices and eat the fruits. Like they basically keep fruits for us, a certain amount of fruits for us. And at the end, you get to take the fruits with you home if you are not too full in my case i was so full to take the fruit home like i didn't even want to hold them i was tired of eating bye it was so fun thank you we'll come back again when there are more fruit <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Yeah, yeah. 
and we left we took a drive to the riverside that we had planned to go to i don't think this was where we planned to go to i don't think we had a plan for the riverside honestly so we had decided to go to the riverside and the plan was to cook there just chill music and yeah we did that we got to this beautiful river you see here it's really pretty to the eyes but it was so difficult to navigate because you can see all the stones it was very painful to walk around we ate a lot of things that you're gonna see right now Before the day of the trip, we had already divided who's gonna get what for the cooking at the riverside. So we got a lot of stuff. I got I was sitting down as a princess baby girl <laughs> while other people were cooking. I'm joking, like I was sitting out initially, but like, like I was doing stuff. But yeah, I was waiting for the food to get ready. I ate chicken, I ate soup, I ate all sorts of things, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Okay, my loves, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Share, comment, turn on post notifications. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, make sure if you're in Dominica, be sure to visit Soma Garden because it's a really wonderful experience. Like, there are so many fruits I had never heard of that I learned that day. So be sure to visit the place and yeah. The rest of this video is just a nice scenic drive so if you want to enjoy it enjoy it if not i'll see you in my next video bye